asked. One of the questions that keeps coming up is uh, how can it be safe and it was rushed through production uh, so quickly. Um, the vaccine is prepared exactly the same way as seasonal influenza vaccine is prepared each year. We have a lot of many, many years of experience with the seasonal influenza vaccine. The only difference uh, is that because we weren't able to incorporate this virus into the seasonal flu vaccine in time, we had to have a separate vaccine. So uh, each year when we make the seasonal influenza vaccine, we add a virus, we take out one of the viruses, and we don't always even test it at all in people before we introduce it uh, into um, um, clinical practice. This vaccine, because it was new and there was anxiety about it, we did test on several thousand people and, they, and it, uh, it is perfectly safe. It's been tested more than the seasonal influenza vaccine that most of you have probably already had uh, gets tested. The vaccine, um, while it's still in limited supply, is really uh, going to be limited to some groups of people, and these groups of people are those that are at highest risk of complications if they get influenza. Amongst them um, are pregnant women. Pregnant women seem to do poorly when they get H1N1 influenza, so it's really important that they get vaccinated. Anyone who has contact with young infants, especially infants under the age of six months, because they can't be vaccinated against flu themselves, so it's important that people around them get the vaccine. Um, healthcare workers should be vaccinated, especially those who provide direct patient care, because they're more likely to be exposed to influenza at the workplace, and if they get sick, uh, we won't have enough people in the hospitals to take care of patients with influenza. Um, children under the age of four all should, between the age of six months and four years, should all be vaccinated. And then uh, young people under the age of 18 who have chronic health conditions such as asthma, diabetes, or problems with their immune system. Um, and then as more vaccine becomes available, an anybody who has underlying health conditions uh, should get, uh, should seek out vaccination. There's two types of um, um, uh, H1N1 vaccine. One is the mist and one is the injectable vaccine. The mist is a live form of the vaccine. The, the virus in the vaccine is weakened and cannot really give you influenza, so it is a safe vaccine. But it's only licensed for use in people between the age of 2 and 49 who are not pregnant and who are healthy. So we're kind of limited in how many people we can give this vaccine to. Uh, the other type of vaccine is the injectable vaccine, and it can be given to anyone over the age of six months who does not have an egg allergy. Supplies of the injectable are very limited at this point, so they're re really prioritizing the highest risk people to get this vaccine. The other question that comes up a lot is with the um, missed version of the live vaccine, is it safe to get the vaccine if you're around other people who cannot get the vaccine? And the answer is yes. You can get the missed uh, form of the vaccine if you yourself are not immunosuppressed or have asthma, but it is perfectly safe for you to be around people who have asthma, to be around people who, ha who are immunosuppressed, uh, who have problems with their immune system uh, after you get the vaccine. The only um, uh, uh, area where you should exercise some caution is if you have very close contact with someone who's recently, very recently had a bone marrow transplant uh, and uh, they're still in the hospital, you probably should not go to visit, but everyone else can safely get the vaccine. A uh, question that comes up again and again is if I have a small child at home younger than six months, is it okay for me to get the uh, live vaccine? Yes, it is safe and it's important that you get vaccinated to in order to protect your child. There's been a lot of um, uh, chatter in the media and elsewhere about uh, the whether there are additives in the um, injectable vaccine and uh, all vaccine in the United States does not have adjuvants or additives to make the vaccine supply go further. Some other countries have chosen to use these adjuvants, um, um, but in the U.S. all vaccine is adjuvant free. So it's very, very similar to the seasonal flu vaccine. The most common thing um, we're hearing really is the vaccine isn't safe. And the answer is no, yes, it is safe. Uh, the, second question, the second thing that comes up often is, um, well, I never get the flu, so I don't need, need this vaccine either. Um, almost everyone uh, under the age of 50 has no protection against uh, this uh, particular virus. So even if you've 
never had seasonal influenza before, it is very likely that if you're a, if you're a young, you will get H1N1 uh, influenza. And if you're lucky, you'll recover completely, but um, you may pass on the virus to others around you who aren't healthy and who could suffer serious consequences. So if you're able to get vaccinated, you should. Other than getting vaccine, the things you can do to keep yourself safe is hand hygiene, wash your hands frequently, uh, alcohol-based uh, hand sanitizers work just as well as soap and water and quite often are easier to do and are uh, easier on your hands. So make sure you have plenty of that around the house. If you have a, 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 a member of your family who is sick, um, make sure that when you're taking care of them, you wash your hands, you use, um, you um, encourage the person to cough or sneeze into tissues or into their sleeve, um, that you keep that person home, especially uh, with children, make sure you, s you keep them at home until they're fully recovered, don't have a fever anymore. Uh, pregnant women, it's really important that they seek out vaccine. We um, are finding that pregnant women are reluctant to get the H1N1 vaccine for all the reasons we talked about earlier, that it's experimental, it hasn't been tested enough, that perhaps it's not safe for the baby, etc. Um, pregnant women who get H1N1 infection do uh, seem to do more, uh, have more complications than non-pregnant women. And so uh, th I think they're the highest risk group uh, for complications. They should get vaccinated. The vaccine is safe. Seasonal flu vaccine in pregnant women has shown to be perfectly safe. Um, and so this vaccine should be no different. Uh, there have been questions about uh, thimerosal, a mercury derivative in uh, vaccine. And uh, at this point in time, almost all the vaccine available does have thimerosal, but the amount of thimerosal in the vaccine is so small that uh, the benefits of vaccination far outweigh any risk to the mother or the, uh, or the unborn baby from that amount of thimerosal. So that alone should not be a uh, deterrent from, uh, for pregnant women to get vaccinated.